Hey guys, so today we're going to create a cute, fuzzy, or furry animal creature. Now, I start out with a circle and I create my basic guidelines vertical uh, to divide it in half, and horizontally in half also for the eyes. And I place another line halfway on the lower circle for the mouth. Here, I'm going to add some small circles for the ears, and notice the placement of them. They're equally distant from each other, and they're also on the most corner part of those um, uh, quarter areas of that circle. And the eyes are placed also in the center of each half circle. And I made some dots so you can see how uh, equally distant they are also. If you have any problems at this stage of the sketch, just pause the video and uh, keep going back to it. And uh, once you have your main guideline uh, sketched out, uh, continue with the video. So here I made a new layer. I erased the uh, canvas layer with my eraser at a low opacity just to create a ghost image. And I'm always staying with the gray values of my color wheel. So I use medium grays, dark grays. I use a black later on. But for the most part, I'm using medium grays to sketch the entire thing. So I draw uh, or sketch a um, half circle for the muzzle of this little guy here. And I want to make the nose a triangle. So he's probably going to end up becoming, um, at this point he looks like a little bear, teddy bear. But uh, he might turn into a fox um, or a dog or a cat. So I'm creating little highlights for the eyes. The eyes are just basic circles and they're just the pupils at this point. So here I decide to make the ears uh, a triangle shape, giving them a little bit of a point. And for some reason, I just threw in a mohawk for this guy here, just to make him a little bit different. Now for the sides of the face, I usually tend to make a little bit of a point just to show that the, this guy is uh, covered in fur and the top of the head is the only part that I really kept uh, consistent with the uh, first guideline. So he has a round head, his face is still round and but the, um, the outside shape of him is uh, evolving and I'm creating a pattern for his face too um, some markings if you will and I'm actually just making this guy up as I go I'm not sure how he's gonna look like in the end but I do know that he has to look furry and he has to look cute so here I sped up the video uh, two times just to uh, uh, keep the uh, video short Again, if you have any problems at this stage, also, just pause the video. And just uh, draw what you see. You can also use pencil and paper uh, to make this sketch of this cute guy here. You don't have to have uh, software at all, but if you use software, uh, you can follow along with uh, Corel Painter. If you use Sci software, that's also a very good program to use uh, to draw with if you have a tablet. So here I'm creating patterns for the face. They look like horns, but they're just markings. And the sketch that I'm creating right now is actually like a, a phase two of my sketch. So I usually draw in three phases. In the third phase, um, I'm going to lightly uh, erase this much of the sketch and draw in my furry lines. Here I'm adjusting the uh, the eyes and I'm zooming in so you can see what I do with the eyes here. The, uh, the corners of the eyes are pointy like a cat. Uh, the inner uh, corners 
are lower and the outer corners a little bit higher. Now there's still an organized shape to how I made this eye. You see the higher most uh, part of the eyelid, uh, it kind of creates like a small little hill. It's really high on top right there. Uh, that helps to um, create some kind of emotion to the character. And it also uh, keeps them looking kind of cute. And the uh, lower eyelid there has a horizontal uh, part right there see how straight they are horizontally and then they kind of curve up on the corners so try to keep your symmetry also um, uh, the same it's kind of hard to do in the beginning if you're just starting out to draw but uh, this is a good way to practice uh, drawing symmetrical and that just means the other side is the opposite of the uh, left or the right side and I'm using a blue color to kind of show you what I'm doing with uh, the points of uh, my references so here I created some uh, reference points so you can see pretty much where I place things the big blue dot in the middle is the center of the first uh, got line, the middle of the circle. So now that the top part of the character or the face is done, let's start sketching in the body. These are just uh, another initial phase of my uh, guidelines. Um, you can call it kind of like your skeleton of your drawing at first and you build up around that here for the tail I, I have an idea of how I want it to be um, like a medium size uh, furry tail so now I'm gonna go with a dark color and define my actual lines that I want to keep And I'm sketching kind of quickly, uh, even though it's sped up two times. Um, this is how I, how I sketch normally um, with pencil and paper also. And for the paws, I just divide it in half and then in half again. And that's how I'm able to get uh, four digits there. Notice I use sharp angles uh, at first. It just helps to make the drawing go quicker. Later on, you can smooth them out. Here I'm giving the little guy a collar. So he looks like uh, it's somebody's pet. So now we're ready to create the uh, next phase of the drawing. And this part of the video sped up four times. Uh, because uh, it took me a little bit longer to create this but as you can see I'm starting to create the fuzziness and they're just short little hatch marks that's all they are but the direction of the hatch marks is uh, consistent with how I want the fur to travel so it looks natural and the guy has a coat of fur that is flowing downward away from his body And this is actually the, the fun part here because you're actually starting to create the details of the guy. And as you go, you can change some things around. You don't have to follow your guidelines exactly. You might change your mind in the middle of your drawing. And as artists, we do that all the time. So the bottom of the jawline here, which I raised up a little bit. So if you can remember, uh, big foreheads, uh, small jawlines, uh, small nose, small mouth, 
will make for a very cute character. And this video will just show the uh, finished outline um, of this guy that I sketched in. In another video, I'm going to color him in. Again, using Corel Painter. And I have no idea what color he's going to be until I start doing it. You notice uh, mostly all of my uh, furry lines are just hatch marks. So here I can really define how I want the eye to look like, especially the corners of the eyes. His left eye was a little bit too small, so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. This is where you have to kind of watch your symmetry. Make sure the uh, left side is uh, the same as the uh, right side, but the opposite. The upper shadow of the um, eye there. Some highlights to the pupils. And he's pretty much done. I'm just going to erase the uh, on my guidelines and here's the final uh, version of this uh, cute little furry guy. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We have more drawing and digital art tutorials on our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.